Hi, Barbara Friedberg here, former portfolio manager and university investments instructor, here to give you a head-to-head -head between personal capital and Wealthfront, two very popular but distinct digital investment managers. And they each offer some incredible free tools. So even if you don't sign up for either of them, you're going to want to check out their free offers. So let's get started. What is Personal Capital? It's a large investment manager. It was recently acquired by Empower. And Personal Capital, Capital is known by many as offering some of the most comprehensive portfolio management tools online. You can get a net worth view. You can get a look at your investments. You can look at your spending, your saving, et cetera. Those free tools are available to anyone. And I'm actually going to show you even a picture of an account I created up specifically so you could see how the free tools work. But for those of you that have at least $100,000, personal capital is also a very widely respected automated wealth manager. And they will manage your investments and also give you access to a slate of certified financial planners so that your investments will grow in line with your risk level and your financial goals. Now, on the other hand, what is Wealthfront? Wealthfront is one of another of the oldest digital investment managers, frequently called a robo-advisor. Unlike personal capital, Wealthfront is available to everyone for investment management. They are an all digital platform, but don't let that scare you because they have really the best digital financial planning tool that I have ever seen online. So let's dig in. Oh, before I forget though, if you decide to become a customer of Wealthfront, you will find top level digital investment management created by very smart, well-regarded investment minds. You'll get a diversified portfolio in line with your goals and risk tolerance. And you can also add on individual ETFs if you'd like to uh, kind of tweak your portfolio in accord with areas that you're interested in investing in. You can also have access to two cryptocurrency funds. So there's a lot to like about Wealthfront as well. Before we dig in, let's just take a quick view of their free financial planning tools and digital financial planner at Wealthfront free tools at Personal Capital. We'll start with Personal Capital's free tools, and they have a lot. I use Personal Capital myself just to keep on top of um, my net worth, my investments. It's got a great retirement planning tool. This is what your dashboard would look like. And now let's just take a quick view of the reports and features you get at the Personal Capital Free Tools. You get net worth and account balances, budgeting, cash flow analysis, income reports, spending reports, investment returns, an asset allocation view. You get a portfolio checkup, a retirement planner. And one of my favorite features is the opportunity to check your personal portfolio returns against those of major benchmarks. Now, I've also set up for you a little bit of an account just so you can get a, a view of what these free tools are like. And they go, and this is, um, I linked one account and it happens to be an IRA account of mine. And you'll see it's not gonna be very diversified because it's just one account and it's part of a, a larger portfolio. When you link all of your accounts, you'll see your budgeting, your spending. Of course, I have no spending because I'm not spending out of a retirement account. But if I linked, um, say, my checking account, you'd see my spending or my credit card account, you'd see my spending going in and out. You'd see cash flow, you'd see expenses. Here's where the investing stuff is really cool, though. Here are all the holdings that are in this account. Here's the U index, which I love. So for this account, 90 days, my my return was negative 2.69. S&P was negative 611 US stocks. So clearly, this account did better, performed better than the standard and poor's. Um, but that's only significant if you have a really diversified portfolio, if you have all of your accounts linked up to personal capital. Then you can see your performance. And this is my portfolio against the benchmarks. You can see what is the asset allocation of this port of this of these linked accounts. So you'll see 33% stock, and then you can see what it's made of within that. So within the stock allocation, you've got large cap growth, large cap core, large cap value, et cetera, et cetera really cool drill down into your portfolio. You can see the sector lineup. And one of the things that the managed offers at Personal Capital gives you are the a sector weight approach to their investment management. And that's a little bit different than you'll find at some of the other automated digital robo advisors. If you want to look at the planning tab real quick, you can see you've got retirement planner, savings planner, retirement fee analyzer, and your investment checkup. We'll scoot on over to the retirement planner, which I think is so cool. Okay, obviously, I'm not very on track for retirement with only one account. But if you linked all of your accounts, you could see, are you going to meet your goals or not? And you can set up different goals, spending goals, social security ex, uh, estimate and savings. And if you want to learn more about this free tool, I'll link in the notes below to a video that goes over this 
free personal capital investment management toolkit. So now let's go on to the free offer at Wealthfront. And Wealthfront offers to anyone, again, who links their accounts, free digital financial planning. This is different than personal capital's offer. And frankly, I might use both because they both fill needs for investment analysis and planning, and they are both free. Yes, F-R-E-E. And you don't get a lot for free today. So you link your accounts to this Wealthfront Path Financial Planner, and you're going to answer a lot of questions so that the kind of like you would answer for a financial planner. And you do this so that you can get really good and precise answers. Now, you might think a digital tool is not going to do it for you, but this digital financial planner is designed to answer 10,000 or more questions. So these are the type of things that you will learn if you link your accounts to Wealthfront's Path digital financial planner tool. Can I buy a home? You can get answers to, can I buy a home in a certain city? When can I retire? Can I retire early? Can I take time off for travel? How much will college cost in 20 years for my kid? And can I afford it? It projects your net worth over time. It incorporates a whole lot of economic data. And it gives you an idea of what you need to do to meet your financial planning goals. So that's all we're going to talk about with regard to the free tools. Now let's get on to the head-to-head -head comparison between the other features for the actual investment management for personal capital and Wealthfront. And for those of you out there, if you have $100,000 to invest, then you can be eligible to use the personal capital advisor's financial planning that gives you access to a free um, to as, as many appointments as you would like with financial advisors. If you don't have the $100,000 startup costs, well, then between the two, you're going to go to Wealthfront. And Wealthfront only requires $500 to get started. Now, if you don't even have $500, don't worry. There are other investment managers that can help you. And I will list below in the notes an article that will link you to free, low minimum financial managers. So don't worry. Okay, so Wellfront, all digital. Here, we're going to start up here with the overview. It's an all digital investment manager. You can access ETFs, Chris, crypto. If you have a larger account, they even do a direct stock investment um, feature as well. They have tax loss harvesting for anyone, which can reduce your fees when you uh, have a, a taxable investment account. Personal capital has certified financial planners for their clients, as well as a comprehensive money manager and money management platform. Both offer socially responsible investing options for those of you that really want to put your money where your values are. As we've said, minimum investments vary a lot. 500 at Wealthfront, 100,000 for the paid service at Personal Capital. Both offer the free tools. You need no minimum for those. Fee structure is also quite distinct. Wealthfront charges a flat out 0.25% or 25 basis points of the money you have invested with them. So if you have $1,000 invested at Wealthfront, you'll pay $2.50 to have that money managed. On the other hand, personal capital's fees are a little steeper, but you get a lot more features. And their fees are also lower than you would pay at, a traditional, at most traditional financial planning firms. So they charge uh, one to three million I'm sorry, we, oh boy, I have to update this because for assets between 100,000 and 1 million, they charge 0.89%. That's 89 basis points. From assets one to 3 million, they charge 0.79% and over 10 million is 49 basis points. So what are their top features in their fee-based offers? Wellfront has their core portfolio, which is diversified mix of stock and bond, US and international exchange traded funds. They also offer a variety of strategy funds. They have a socially responsible, they have risk parity portfolios, which you can read more about in the review of Wealthfront. They also have cash accounts, margin loans. And as I mentioned before, and this is one of the really differentiating features of Wealthfront, is you can customize your portfolio by adding up to two, well, I don't think you'd add 200, but selecting from 200 exchange traded funds to add a certain twist or um, to invest in areas that you might have a little more faith or interest in. There are also two grayscale crypto funds that you can add to your portfolio. Or if you would like, you can create your own portfolio and Wealthfront will manage it for you. And that means they will rebalance it back to the asset allocation that you prefer. And they will also perform tax loss harvesting if it is in a taxable account. Now, the fee-based features at Personal Capital, they also have 
comprehensive financial planning services. And they have a whole host of really anything you could expect from a traditional financial planner. Their managed portfolios are set up a little differently than many of the other robo-advisor or digital investment advisors. So they use a sector weight approach and they choose exchange traded funds that will uh, give you equal amounts of a variety of sectors. They also offer uh, ESG or socially responsible funds for larger accounts. You can even get private equity, individual stocks and hedge funds. So as you can see, if you really want a full service wealth planner integrated with a digital investment manager, then you'll probably lean towards personal capital. But if you're really comfortable with uh, tech and you can feel very comfortable using their path digital financial advisor, and of course you have the $500,000 and don't have $100,000, then you might lean towards Wealthfront. So now on to the types of accounts that you can get. And both of them, both of the platforms offer a very nice variety of accounts. So you can get individual and joint taxable accounts at each. You can get all varieties of IRAs at each as well, including your SEP IRA, which is great for small business. Now, here's where Wealthfront is very unique among the digital investment advisors. They offer 529 college savings plans, which is great if you or you have children who will be going to college and you want to start saving in a tax efficient manner for them and you will find trust at personal capital. So what about the promotions? Well, we pretty much covered those. At Wealthfront, you get your free PATH digital fi financial planner. Anyone can use this. And if you use one of the links, the link below, then you will be eligible to have your first $5,000 managed for free. And we discussed that personal capital has the free investment savings, spending, and retirement planning tools. So the bottom line is these are both so different that really the platform for you is going to depend, going to depend on how much money you have, whether you want handholding, whether you want close to a full service investment platform, or whether you're comfortable with having an all digital platform with the opportunity to customize your own investments. Wealthier individuals can look at personal capital. Those with the five hundred to one hundred thousand dollars will look at Wealthfront. Additionally, there are many other robo advisors and digital investment managers to con to consider. So below, you will get links to several free giveaways. One is a retirement comparison chart. Another is a free robo selection quiz. And if you sign up for Personal Capital or Wealthfront using one of the links below, they are affiliate links, which means we will get a small commission that helps to fund our channel. So please, if you like this video, like it below, subscribe, and ask me any comments in the questions. In the Ask me any questions in the comments below. I love comments. I respond to all of them personally, and I love to chat Rebel Advisors. So I'm Barbara Friedberg. I will see you next time. Bye.